some of the questions related to your book exercise. As we have already discussed in our previous video lesson, how to convert one metric unit to another and at the same time the metric table we have discussed related to measurement of length, mass and capacity. Now it's time to learn how to do that conversions using the metric unit. Now the first question which is here, convert the following and the first part says we have to convert 48 kg to 85 gram into gram. So we, that question given to us is in kg and gram both and we have to convert it into its gram unit only that means gram form. So for that the solution will begin like this that means very first we will see 48 kg and 285 gram. So here you can see that our second term 285 gram is already given in the gram form. So what we have to do, we just have to convert 48 kg into its gram. So very first identify how many grams are there in 1 kg. So since 1 kg is equals to 1000 grams, so that means how many grams will be there in 48 kg then? Yes, it will be multiplied. So this statement we can write it in this form. 48 kg. If 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram, then 48 kg will be equal to 48 multiplied by 1000 and gram. This is your conversion of 48 kg into gram. Plus, because we have 285 gram also, so that will be plus 285 grams. Clear students? After this, 48 multiplied by 1000 that will give you 48,000 plus 285 gram. Adding both the values together 48,000 plus 285 it will give you 48,285 grams. So this is how you can do the conversion from kg and gram into its gram form. Clear students? Coming to the second part in which you have to convert 8 meter 9 centimeter to its centimeter form. That means we have to convert this metric unit from meter centimeter to only centimeters. Now for that, let us write the question very first 8 meter and 9 centimeter. So this term is already in centimeter. What we have to do? We have to convert 8 meter into its centimeter form. So in that case, what is our relation? 1 meter is equal to how many centimeters? Yes, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Since 1 meter makes 100 centimeter, so how many centimeters will be there in 8 meter then? 8 multiplied by 100. So that will be equal to 8 multiplied by 100 centimeter. This is your first term. Plus, the second term which is given to us is 9 centimeter. Now multiply the term, 8 multiplied by 100, 800 centimeter plus 9 centimeter. So what is the sum total of 800 centimeter plus 9 centimeter? So 800 plus 9, it will give you 809 centimeters. Clear students? So this is how you can convert a term given in meter and centimeter to its centimeter form. Clear students? Taking the third part in which you have to convert 49 centimeter 9 millimeter to its millimeter form. So now we have to convert centimeter meter to its millimeter. So let's check out the solution. Now once again we have to find the relation between centimeter and millimeter. Let me write the question. 49 centimeter, 9 millimeter. Okay? Now, how many millimeters are there in 1 centimeter? So, there are 10 millimeters in 1 centimeter. So, since 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter, that means we are going to multiply 49 by 10. And that will become 49 multiplied by 10 millimeters in a bracket. Plus, plus which term? The second term. That is 
9 millimeter. After this, 49 tens are 490 millimeter plus 9 millimeter. So adding the value 490 plus 9, it will give you 499 millimeter. So this is your third solution. Clear students? Coming to the fourth part with and I hope now this conversion questions are very very clear to all of you that how to do the conversions. So let's do the third, fourth part now. 9 kiloliters, 49 liters and we have to convert this into liters. So now we have to convert 9 kiloliters, 49 liter to liters. So let's do that. 9 kiloliter and 49 liters. So since we know that the relation is 1 kiloliter is equal to 1000 liters. 1 kiloliter is equal to 1000 liters. So in that case what we will do? We will multiply 9 kiloliter by 1000. So it will be 9 into 1000 liters plus the given value which is 49 liters. Multiplying the value 9 into 1000, 9000 liters plus 49 liter. Let's add 9000 plus 49. So that will be 9049 liters. This is your fourth solution. Clear students? Coming to the fifth part, and in fifth part, it is said that you have to convert 48,132 meter to kilometer and meter. So now this fifth part is just the opposite of the what we have done. Earlier the numbers or you can say the values are given to us in meter or centimeter, kilometer and meter. You can say your kg and grams. Now the term is given to us in meter and we have to convert it into kilometers and meter. That means in the previous four parts, we have converted a higher unit to smaller unit, right? And in this part, we have to convert the smaller unit to the higher unit. That means, earlier when we were multiplying a higher unit to smaller unit, we were multiplying by 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, so on. Here, since we are converting a smaller unit to a bigger unit, this time we are going to divide. So for division, very first let us check out what is the relation between meter and kilometer. So how many meters make one meter, uh, kilometer? Yes, students. So there are thousand meters which will make one kilometer. So now since till this time when we were converting a higher unit to smaller unit, we were multiplying by one thousand. In this case, since I am converting a smaller unit to bigger unit. This time I will divide it by 1000. So let us divide the value that is 48,132 divided by 1000. Why I am dividing it by 1000? Because 1000 meter makes 1 kilometer. Now when you will divide this term by 1000 and if you will see when you will actually perform the division also like this. So 1000 fours are 4000, subtracting up here 813 and then 2, 1000, eights are 8000, subtracting up here you, you are left with a remainder of 132. Now you cannot divide it further. So in that case since your quotient is 48 and remainder is 132, with these two values we can separate the answer as 48 kilometers and 132 meters. That means 48,132 meter is actually equals to 48 kilometers and 132 meters. Clear students? So this is how you can go through with the book exercise questions and you can do the conversions very easily. Thank you for the lesson students. Have a great day.